Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Medieval Engineers. I'm the Radio Man 3 and it is awesome to have you along. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out the video. John O'Neill, a couple episodes back, said, hey, it'd be really cool if maybe you used uh, subscriber names for the storefronts. So that's what I've done. I've gone through, and thank you so much for all your suggestions for names for the storefronts. But John was like, hmm, maybe you should use, and I thought, how about John O'Neill's Tavern? So I've come up with this sign right here for the tavern, so John O'Neill's, and I was going to use this... But unfortunately, the blue dots stay on the sign. So we're not gonna go with that. We're gonna go with just the full glass of wine. And we'll go with that right there. And there's John O'Neill's, okay? So as you come up stab the, the stairs, you got John O'Neill's right here, okay? I don't think we have to put the word tavern on there. It's John O'Neill's, so there we go. All right, so thank you so much for that suggestion. Look at this guy over here. What the heck is going on over here? Yeah, you Buster Brown. <laughs> Kill you. First barbarian of the day. There we go. Down you go. Timber. Uh, I've got so much stuff in my inventory, I can't even take it. Um, I'm just going to eat those. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Can I transfer stuff in? Oh, I can. Oh, I don't want to do all of that, though. Let's take a couple of these. Let's take that in there, and we'll grab that. Uh, we've got tons of map pieces, so I don't even care about that. Let's run those. Uh, let's go inventory. I've got stuff to put in. And we're going to try to get the signs taken care of as well. Let's get this skull put over here. Holy cow, I was not expecting that to happen today. Just like that. Um, and then we've got a sword. Oh, oh, mommy. Oh, hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It's actually my Sunday. I am uh, uh, pre-recording this one for Monday. Uh, we've got one up over the weekend where we built the... Uh, what did we build? We built the uh, the butcher. The butcher, yeah. Uh, sticks and sticks. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that map piece. Let's see, how's that look over here? John O'Neill's. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Okay, beautiful. All right, so we've got that taken care of. Um, bum, 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 bum. That was the tavern. Okay. Oh, uh, big supporter. You guys are all big supporters, but some of the names just fit, you know? So over here at the brewery, this is the Gold Dragon. Like so. We're going to do like that. Uh, we're going to change that text size. We're going to go ahead and fill that up like so. And then we're going to pick a picture. I'm not going to change the color of the text. I think it's fine. The Gold Dragon. This is also for brewing. I'm wondering if maybe we've got a barrel or something that we could put in here. That would be pretty cool. Seven. Eight. A barrel maybe? Number nine. Number 10. Oh, come on. Where's a barrel? A barrel would be perfect for this sign. There we go. Right there. Excellent. All right. So we'll just be working on these as we go around. There's the Gold Dragon. The Gold Dragon Brewery. Okay. So there we go. Um, yeah. One of you mentioned signs would be an important thing to have going on. We've got the apothecary taken care of uh, up here. Um, did we have put signs over here? Uh, I don't think we put signs actually on the walls. I took that wall out. <laughs> I spotted it. Took it out. It's gone. Um, let's see here. Let's go over here. And this was going to be... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, did I not have one for this? I did not have one for... The library. One of you guys said just library. Um, I'll look. I'll look that one up, and we'll come back to that one uh, maybe in a different episode. But let's do this one. This is going to be. This is part of the clothing store. The the, the tailor. So this is. Oh, come on! I want to name it. Let's try the skin. Name. It's not let me do this. Why all of a sudden am I not able to do the sign? Let's try it again. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. Some kind of a little hiccup there. Karain's clothing. Karain's clothing. 
Uh, let's go ahead and change the size. So I just kind of went through and picked out names that uh, you guys have been, uh, you know, in here for so long with me. I thought these would be kind of fun. It's not that you don't have a good name. Just picked out some stuff. Uh, eight. We need something that says clothing. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Mm, maybe that right there. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, that would have been perfect for the other sign. We're going to go back to the other sign and do that. And what about this guy right here? Crane's clothing. Let's do that instead. I like that. It shows a whole guy in, in uniform. We, we've got to we've got to put this other. Oh, but has that got the blue dots on it? Let's go see. Let's go see. Probably should have fixed that wall that that barbarian was banging on, but we'll see. The barrel is nice, but let's see if we can change the uh, picture that's going to go on here. I've got decorative items too. Uh, it was always all, all all the way at the end, I think. Right? Yeah, this one here. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. That says brewery, right? Now that says brewery. Let's go check this wall that this guy was banging on over here. Really, all you got to do is like so. Walk along the wall. You see the hundred there. Boom, 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 boom. And oh, there we go. Looks like he caused a single percent of damage on there. All right, beautiful. All right, let's go upstairs. And I've got a few things in my inventory, as you can see, for the. Um, uh, speaking of inventories. Let's go ahead and eat some bread. And... Oh, yeah, the signs are nice, huh? One of you also suggested closing some of the windows on the bakery. Let's do that one right there. Let's do that while we're right here. I'm, I'm just trying to think of the comments that I've gotten uh, while I was on vacation. So I wanted to make sure we took care of some of these. Actually, let's leave that one open. Let's leave that one open, and we'll close this one right here. And we'll close this one here. Uh, there we go. Just like that. And we'll probably close this one as well. There we go. Beautiful. That should make it look a little bit better as well. Come on. Why can't I close that? It's being picky here. There we go. Just like that. But we want the other two windows open. Because we want that that the fresh baked goods to be coming out the out the wall there. Oh, we've got a little bit of looks like the oven showing through the wall there. Okay, we've got the bakery delivery taken care of, but the bakery itself. Uh, there's a sign right there, and let's name this one real quick. This is uh, bakery, bakery, bakery. Oh, oh, this is perfect. Guido. Man, Mangiardis. Guido Mangiardis. I love that. I love that. Okay, so we're going to do that. Let's get this one. We're going to separate that up. There we go. Like, nope. We can only go that big. It's, it's a big name. It's a big name. Guido Mangiardis. And we're talking about baking. So we're going to want bread. Bread would be perfect, right? A big loaf of bread. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. All right. Beautiful. All right. There's another sign taken care of. Ha, <laughs> ha. That does look good, huh? Having signs on the walls as you go by. Yeah, we should probably have some street signs out here, too. We probably should have some street signs as well. All right. Let's go down here. Now, this, uh, the, the mods that we're using to decorate in today's episode are by Storied Past Productions. It's called the Immersive immersive furnishings you can find it on the steam workshop they're beautiful so let's go number five this of course is not one of those mods the the the, the antler head is not one of those uh, let's go on uh we need to go upstairs for this i want this one actually to be like right here can i put him in the middle oh i sure can that's perfect you know what? I think what we need to do is put them a little bit higher. 
Let's put them a little bit higher. And then we can put a sign underneath it. Okay, we'll put a sign underneath there. Now let's go back downstairs. Beautiful. Lovely through here, isn't it? It's just great. You know what? <laughs> These ivies. A couple episodes back, I took them and I put them somewhere. I said, I'm going to put them here so I don't forget where they are. I have forgotten where they are. I searched all kinds of chests. Number six. These are the tanning racks. Whoa. Okay, I'm back. Uh, that was interesting. Had a crash there when I placed that tanning rack down. Let's give it a try and see if it does it again. I'm kind of curious. Uh, we'll try placing it in the exact same spot. And we'll see if this crashes. It didn't crash that time. Hmm. Interesting. And we'll put one here. Huh, I wonder what caused that. That was kind of interesting. Don't know. Uh, number seven. Uh, I would think you'd want to have some of your wares out front of the store, right? To be seen. So maybe something right here. And we'll put the sign over on that side right there. But now when you're walking by the shop, you can see that there's stuff going on back here. We're going to move that torch. That won't be here. We're going to put the smaller torches in here. Let's go to our inventory. I killed some deer, so we'd have hide. So we've got a few hide, but I, I think I've used them all. Yeah, I've used them all up now. This tripod bonfire I thought looked kind of interesting as well, and I thought it might be kind of cool in here as well. Like so. I think that's awesome. Look at this. We could cook in this thing. Uh, you guys said the logs burn longer than the sticks, so we're going to try that out. We'll see if we can get a log in there to, to kind of make that last longer. And then these guys right here, this log pile, I love that log pile. I just love it. We're going to make a bunch of those and get those kind of splashed around too. So now we've got a little work area right here that they come down to do their uh, hide tanning and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back. I believe I need to go... Let's go into the apothecary. How's my inventory looking? Eh, not super, but I think we've got enough room to do a couple of things in here. Let's go downstairs. I want to make up some of that ivy uh, for the walls of the building. And what do we need for the ivy? The vine is flax and dirt. Okay, we've got the dirt. We just need the flax. And I believe I've got plenty of flax right over here. I sure do. Yeah, we're good to go. And we should be able to make... Let's go one, two, three, four, five. We're going to take those little stones out of there. Let's do that. And then I'll probably make some of the bigger ones. Uh, and they don't stack. They don't stack. Um, okay, so I have to come back for those. Let's go inventory. Let's grab these guys and bring them down here. Like so. And we're going to make some more of those log piles too. I think splashing those log piles around is going to really bring things to life around here. A lot of life to be brought. And we've got a little piece of ivy right there, which is nice. Um, deer, I'm going to slaughter you. Um... Would really like that to go up underneath there. I wonder if I can go G. Take this guy right here. Um, boom, right here. Get myself up a little bit higher. There we go. Let's go number five again. It's really hard to tell if I've got that going in the right area. I do. That's perfect. And then I want a second one right down here. I think it's important to have them streaming a, a little bit different in length here and there uh, across the building. And I'm going to keep them up front because that's just going to look better. Let's get one kind of in the middle here like that. There we go. Let's see. How's that look? Yeah, that, that, that just makes the whole place look much better. Oh, what was that? Sounds like something broke. Do we break something? What are you doing? 
must have come off when I took that thing down, huh? That's okay. We'll put it right back. We'll put it right back there. Bingo. Perfect. Got a nice little ivy shown there. That's nice. Okay, we've got a couple more ivy that we're going. Let's grab some more of those guys. Let's grab the last two of those. That should be enough to get us by right there. I don't want to overdo it. Again, we are in kind of a hurry to uh, make way for the update that's coming. And we are good to go right there. Let's go ahead and what, what do I need for the wall? Wow. Uh, 10 flax, 10 dirt. Let's make a couple more of those up. We have more flax down at the farm if we need it, so we're good to go. I'm going to be able to make one. And then we can make a second one. Let's do that. We'll do that right there. Beautiful. All right. Let's get these guys placed, and then they'll be out of our inventory. And then we can fill up on a few logs and get that going. Uh, inventory. We need the big guy here, like so. This guy is beautiful. We want him there. And then we want a log space in between, a timber space like that. Inventory. And then we're going to have to add a couple more, it looks like, to the whole thing as well. Come on now. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, it looks like we need probably at least one more of those to kind of finish this off. If we point right down there, it should go. Like that. Mm-hmm. After I'm done here, Variety and I are going to go to the grocery store. We've not done that yet since we got back from vacation, so there's like nothing in the house to eat. <laughs> we're just, we're, we're, we're putting oddball things together to eat. Because we were just, uh, you know, anxious to be home and just take a couple of days to relax, which is nice. Back to the real world tomorrow, which will be Monday. All right, there we go. Beautiful. So we need a few more timbers and we need some logs. Let's go get those real fast. I still have the, the game set to all day. Uh, with the sun at an angle where it doesn't beat down on here. That way we keep the, uh, the nice glow of the lights. I may change it up a little bit, but it's just been nicer to have it this way uh, for the uh, Morningstar Pass work that I do with you guys on camera. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, so I think if I come in here, I should be able to make these log piles. Again, the, the, the mod pack is immersive furnishing, so it's beautiful. Uh, okay. Oh, look at this. I got a goulash. Craft one of those. There's my there's my hoe. <laughs> okay. Do they stack? No, they don't. Bummer. That's okay. We can make them another workbenches as we go. Inventory. Let's grab one of these guys and bring it down here. I thought these guys would look really nice. Oh, you are back. Oh, you have no weapon. You, sir, are a fool. What were you banging on over here while we're here looking? I don't see anything that's got damage on it. Uh, you know what? He broke the rails out of here. Hey, quit pushing up on me. Yeah, he broke this rail that was right here. Yeah, okay. That's all right. Come on. Come on, little barbarian. We're going to shove him in the hole where he belongs. So we'll have to replace that. Uh, you know what else I noticed is that... Oh, where'd he go? Well, let's just leave him here. He can't, he can't do any more damage to anything anyways, right? Look, there's people in town. How nice is that? Uh, number seven. I thought these guys right here would look really great. We've got this bakery going on right here. Let's turn these. Let's put a couple of them right outside the bakery. That looks really nice right there. And then number five, we have a few more vines. Um, no, nah, we'll leave those there. Where'd he go? He must be shopping. <laughs> he must be shopping. Oh, there he is, yeah. Yeah, we're up this way, fool. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is where I wanted to go. Right here. Like so. And then we'll put one right over here in the corner as well, like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's better. <laughs> okay. Well, what have you suggested we get a barbarian into the bakery, if we could? 
Oh. He's a peeping Tom kind of barbarian. <laughs> hey! Ding dong! Well, he's got his eye on something. This is quality construction. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, there he Oh, he's done looking around. Okay, so let's go back down here. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come along, little barbarian man. We don't, we don't have to go lock you up just yet. Uh, how's our inventory looking? Uh, we've got the logs. Okay, so what I need to do is just make some more of those log piles. We can make a few more. Let's do that. And let's go down here again. What do I have? I have three logs. Okay, so we need to take a couple things out of here. And we're going to put these guys down there like that. And we're going to go one, two, three. Beautiful. We're going to take these metal pieces and we're going to put these guys into here. Along with those small stones. And then the sword can actually go uh, right in here. There we go. Beautiful. One, two, and three, and oh, I, I put all the metal pieces into my inventory. Of course I did, because that's that's what I do. That's what I do. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> There's, it's a hustle bustle here. At the Morning Star Pass, indeed. Um, okay, so I've got these guys on seven. I want, I want some more logs showing. Let's do one there. Just to, just to show them a little bit more. See, now we come through here, we can see that. Um, one there, like that. It just, it's just going to be these little tiny pieces that just bring things to life. We need more, we need more vines for, for these buildings right here. We've not done those up yet. Uh, but I want the log piles outside. I think they look better outside. Oh, you know where I wanted a couple? You know where I wanted a couple? Right down here. Right over here. This place is look so barren to me right here. We actually need more than that uh, inventory. I need to dump off some of these sticks. I've got stones in my inventory. Let's drop off the stones. Those, those, those. And we'll throw the meat in there too. There we go. Now we can get some logs and actually get some stuff going here. Beautiful. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, so we got to go to the grocery store. That's going to be like a, a two-hour trip in itself, and then bringing everything in, and you know, uh, yeah, that's that's good though. Food is nice to have in the house. All right, there we go. Some more log piles to go around. Things are starting to come to life. This bag is really amazing. How it's just staying here, huh? Let's just do that. We'll do that. And we'll put the uh, we'll put the map away. Uh, we can come over here though first. All right, so we're right back to the same problem we had just a second ago where I got too much stuff inside the workbench. Craft. Uh, what are these guys here, too? What is this here? Decorative log. Let's try a couple of those out as well. Do I have room in here now for the metal pieces? No, but I can put metal pieces back in here, I think. There we go. All right, so that's two of those. Let's get... That's three of those. Let's drop these guys in, and let's do... Uh, we had a, log, a stump stool. Let's do two of those, and let's try one of these guys out, too. Okay. Um, craft. Let's back out. Go back in. Let's cue, Let's clear that. Let's clear that. Now let's try that one more time. That is not. Uh, didn't seem to work out too right. Maybe it's something I did. It's always a possibility. So craft. Nope. It is not crafting that log. Okay, let's do that. We get our log back, it looks like. What about this? Okay. Uh, log bench. 
do that instead of the log stool. The stool. Okay, so now we've got this guy here. We've got this guy right here. And we've got our log piles. Okay, so now we're going to go number seven. And we were actually going to put a few more of these guys right here. A little bit of firewood going on outside. There we go. I, I love that. That is that is nice. That adds a lot of flavor, I think, to the place. Can I add one on top of here? If I rotate it... These guys are not wanting to behave very well. Y is having no effect on that. R turns it that way, but that's not going to do me any good. I wanted to see if I could get this to flip over and sit on top like it's a larger log pile, but that's okay. We won't do that. We'll go ahead and add... Let's add one of these... Um, let's put one of these out in the street. Uh, how about right down here? This looks like a good place for a log pile, right outside the brewery. I got this all turned around now. Oh, come on. Let's go eight. Let's go back to seven. There we go. Oh, no, I do not want you facing that way. There we go. There we go. Right out here. We'll move it a little bit away from the stairs. There we go. There we go. That adds a little something there. Now we're going to go number six. We needed a, a, some kind of a seat. Oh, there he is. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> he made me jump a little bit right there. All right, let's put this underneath here uh, because we need this here for them to sit on. That did not actually sit on the ground. It's not sitting on the ground. We've had that trouble up in this area before, and one of you guys mentioned that you've had the same thing happening to you as well, where some of the stuff just does not stick. There it goes. That stuck that time. All right, so we got a bench there. Uh, number five, some just some random logs. Hey, buddy. Some random logs. Put one right there, and then how about if we put one kind of right down in here? Let's see if we can turn this. Oh, there we go. Like so. It's beautiful eyes. I'm just such a handsome fellow. Um. Oh, signs. We need some signs. Okay, we need to get some more logs. Inventory? How's my... Oh, I've got logs. Okay, never mind. Sorry, a little scattered. I'm trying to get back in the groove of things here. Just trying to get back in the groove of things. Uh, so we wanted some signs. Let's go down here. What do we need for the signage? Craft. Craft. There we go. And... One of our good friends has been very instrumental in the series since it began. Okay, what do we have here? We've got uh, B.H. Stones, Billy Hyde, and we're going to increase the size of this. BH stones and let's get a picture for this <laughs> doesn't that doesn't say it any clearer than that BH stones okay Billy Hyde stones and then it was his suggestion to put a stone yard and a lumber yard down in the lower area so that I wouldn't have to run up and down up and down up and down all the time so I thought uh, you know this guy's this guy's got some serious cash this is gonna be the uh, this is B Click on there, B, H, Lumber, like so, like that, and a nice picture, scrap wood, no, a log, 
Ah, no, that's too, that's too easy, right? It's too easy. We got to go better than that. Number four. Oh, one of these might not. These one of these might be really good. What is what is this? Wooden defenses. That's pretty nice. Advanced mechanics, stoneworks, battlements, carpentry. No, mechanics, no, weaving, no. Mechanized farming. I just thought one of these might be BH Lumber with the wheel. Let me know what you think of that one. I think that looks pretty cool. It represents wood, right? Yeah, okay, so there's BH Lumber. That's the other thing I wanted to take care of today. Let's go back to our inventory. Let's clear this stuff out of here. Um, still got some logs on my inventory. The town's looking a little more lived in. And... Oh, we need we needed some more ivy. We need more ivy. For the other buildings. You cannot come in, sir. Ivy. Like so. There we go. And I think I used up all the flax that we had in here, unless we've got more in here. Oh, baby. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good to go. Get that stone out of there. Let's go one, two, three, four. Let's do four more of them. Awesome. Down here, number five. Okay, we need these guys for uh, the uh, tailor shop and the, uh, you know, whatchamacallit here. And I want these guys to be right up underneath here. I think these guys are going to look really good up under here. That first one is not sticking in the right spot. Dude, come on now. Quit pushing on me. <laughs> he's, he's trying to... He's trying to hurt us as best he can, but he's, he's no good at it. Oh my god, you are getting to be kind of a pain. Yeah, what you, you like it? I know what you've done to my barbarian brethren. I know what you've done. I see their heads all over the place. There we go. There's a little more ivy right there. Um, sure would like to get one way up top there, but it's just not... Well, you know what? We can go from inside here and do this. Going up here. Let's see if we can get one of these from up high. Um, what if we do it in inside here? Will that will that be enough to show it off on the outside there? Probably so. We'll do one on each side here, like this. Something like that right there. I should throw a little green way up high, so if you're looking up, you'll see it. Yeah, that's good. I just can't get up that high to do anything with this. Okay, scroll it up. Get it up there. All the way up. Come on, baby. All the way up there. How does that look? Is it working? Is it? Does that work? Oh, for Pete's sake! Can't get up over this ridge. It looks like it's attached up there. All right, let's let's deal with this guy right here. You, oh, he's back to what? Looking at something weird. There we go. A little more ivy showing here and there. Huh? That looks good. That looks good. The street. What if we come down here and take a look back? How's this look? Oh, well, that's nice. Okay, so now what we need is a couple of more, uh, a few small torches. We'll make five small torches, get those placed, and we should be good to go. The area looks good. It's got enough stuff in it to make it look uh, lived in, I think. We could do a lot more. I mean, there's just a ton more that we could do, but uh, with time constraints, this is what we've got going on. One, two, three, four, and five. Probably going to need more sticks. 
we go and kapow there we are nice I love how they walk around with their hand in the like they're holding a weapon let's put a torch right here Something going on. I can't get that to light. Something's going on today with my game. We don't want that there, but we do want one of these guys right here. What about this one? That one lit. There's some kind of a twilight zone thing going on down there, it seems like. It's really bizarre. there. It's a little dark down this end of the street, isn't it? There we go. There's a little more light down there. And we don't want that torch. We want these torches here. There we go. I have more logs in my inventory. Okay, let's do let's do that right there. The guy can't even keep up with us. We're so fast. Let's do this down here. Let's get this kind of polished up a little bit here too, to where it looks like it's it's finished, like that. We're going to go down to number four. We're actually going to go here with number four. There we go. And we're going to do one there. We're going to do one here. We're going to get the out of here. Four right there and a number four right there. Oh, there we go. We're back to floating again. Don't know why. Back to floating as well. It's a little frustrating. Uh, around. So, E. There we go. As long as you turn white, I know you're going to work. Like that. Oh, yeah, that looks good, huh? That looks good. Okay, that street looks pretty good. We need to replace what he broke. like that. Awesome. I think we're I think we're getting it. I think we're getting it. Again, there's there's tons more stuff we could do. Uh, but we just don't have the time. Let's take advantage of this situation here. Got a nice buck going by. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, the bag of meat's going down the hill. At a quick speed. Oh, nice. We're back to like three meat there on that one. That seems a bit more fair to me when it comes to getting meat off of a deer. A piece of meat is just not. I mean, people go deer hunting and fill their freezer and they have that meat all winter. You know, you just don't get a piece. We've had a deer over here, too, also making some squawky noises. There he is, over by the wall. They sure do like getting stuck by that wall. Oh, I thought for sure I was going to miss. There we go, beautiful. And F and antlers. Oh, there's another hide too. Sweet. All right, another hide is great. Uh, we really didn't decorate the upper area of 
the shop, but we haven't put a name on it either yet. I'll we'll get a name on it next episode. That's all I've got time for today. I've got I gotta go. Like I said, I gotta go to the grocery store. Let's get this guy put away. Let's let's drop him down in the pit. The pit. Come here, boy. Come on. That it. That's it. That's it. There you go. Good little barbarian. That's it. Keep coming. We'll drop him in the pit, and then we'll uh, since he won't come in the doors. We just kind of swirl around him. Push him up over that lip because they don't like to walk over that on their own. No, 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 no. There you go. There you go. That's it. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Takes a very steady hand. Oh, jeez. Oh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I just hate it when that happens. We do have two down here, so that's pretty nice. That's that's pretty cool. Well, that went a lot faster than the last time I did this, huh? All right, so yeah, good. We got two little buddies down there. That's nice. Okay. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time.